Hello everyone, welcome to Altrix Tutorials. In this video, we are going to take a look at some of the tools that are present in the Join tab of the Altrix tools. In the previous videos, we have already seen the In Out tab and the Preparation tab and their individual tools that are going to be useful for us while preparing the workflows in Altrix. In this video, we are going to start a new tab that is the Join tab. So without any further ado, let us start with the video. In this video, we are going to talk about a very special tool known as the Append Fields tool. This Append Fields tool is present in the Join tab as you can see, denoted by a purple color. Now before starting with this tool, what I have already done is I have already input my data, that is the sample superstore data. And from that data set, I have taken the orders sheet. In case you don't know where to get this data from, you can simply Google Sample Superstore Excel and that data set would be downloaded for you. The reason why we are choosing this data set is because it is having a wide variety of data ranging from text to numbers to location, everything that one could ask for. Furthermore, the data set is completely clean. There are no inconsistencies, so it would be easier for us to work on it. And once you have downloaded the data set using the input tool you can simply just input the data then i have used two data cleansing tools which are in the preparation tab to clean the data now uh, in case you are wondering what i have done over here i recommend you to just go through the previous videos where i have explained this process in a step-by-step -step fashion now once we have done with all this let us just go back to our append fields tool and bring it up over here as you can see the append fields tool has two anchors on the input that is t and s uh, T stands for target and S stands for source and there is one output anchor. So let us understand first of all what is this tool all about. Append fields tool is used to append the fields of one small input which is taken as a source uh, denoted by the S over here to every record of another larger input that is the target. The result is a Cartesian join. Now in a Cartesian join every row from one table is joined to every row of the other table. Like if there are two tables, uh, table 1 has like 100 rows and table 2 has 1000 rows. So the Cartesian join would be 100 into 1000, that is 100,000 rows in total. So this is what happens in the Cartesian join. And in case you want to perform a Cartesian join on your tables, then you can use this append fields option. Okay. The append field tool accepts two inputs, which is again a target and a source. The target is a larger data stream and the source is a smaller data stream that provides the records that are added to the target stream okay uh, now in order to configure the tool here we can see the configuration panel over here we can use this table to modify the incoming data stream uh, here each row is representing an individual column in the table as you can see row id order id order date ship date ship mode etc now here what are the options what are the uh, things that we can do is we can modify the type of the column like uh, right now it's double but if you want to change it to anything else you can change it like i want int 16 over here so that its size also decreases if in the case of the strings you want to change the size you can do that as well if you want to rename a column that also you can do uh, like instead of the row id i want s number to be present over here serial number okay so sno is what i want to uh, rename it in case you want to provide a description for your columns that you can also provide now what would happen is once the Cartesian join is performed this is how the columns would be treated like with a description with a renamed value and with a modified type over here okay now uh, this is uh, one thing that you can do now in case you want to select multiple fields like this then there is this options button that is present there are a bunch of options that you can use like save or load that means you can save the field configuration as a .yxft file uh, which is Altrix field type file um, that can be used in other workflows as well. Then we can uh, use the select option to either select all of the columns or deselect them all. Uh, we can change the field type of the highlighted fields. This is only uh, available if all the fields that you have highlighted are of the same type. So you can just change them to uh, a common or a mutual type right next we have is the sort option which is of course used to sort the columns in ascending or the descending orders like uh, sort on the original field name on a new field name on the field type or uh, revert to the incoming field order next we have is the move option that is used to move the highlighted columns to the top or the bottom of the list 
if you want to perform this option if you want to add some prefix to the field names if you want to add suffix to the field names if you want to remove any prefix remove any suffix or if you want to uh, clear all the renames that you have done so far that you can do using this uh, if you want uh, the highlighted fields only whose renames you want to clear that also you can do revert all to original type and size that means all of the changes that you have done would be unchanged and so on these are all the options uh, that we have available next we have is this option warn slash error on too many records being generated so uh, in this append fields tool it performs a cartesian join which means the number of the rows of both of these tables are actually multiplied with one another that means a huge number of rows would be generated right so it is a possibility that unintentionally you can produce so many errors so you can configure the warnings or errors to be reported so that not too many records are being produced now for this we have three options allow all appends that means all records would be appended to all the records with no error or warning next is warn on appends of more than three uh, 16 records like if there are more than 16 records in the source file a warning is reported and the workflow continues processing third option is error on appends of more than 16 records so if there are more than 16 records in the source file then the error is reported and the workflow stops it processing so it is just to save the memory and provide a uh, fail safe in case of the errors right so i'm going to go with all allow all appends just for this case to show you how this tool is gonna work okay so here i have actually um, run the append fields tool let me explain to you quickly that what i have done uh, the target we have already taken in the case of source what we have done is we have taken a few records around 5000 records for the source now where these records come from uh, from the target itself we created three separate excel sheets on the basis of segment so if you just go to this particular data here you will find that there is this field called segment it has three possible values consumer home office and corporate these are the three segments okay so uh, these three excel sheets were created in one excel sheet all the consumer related records were there in another there were all corporate related records and so on so just like that i have taken one more excel sheet which contains all the consumer records now this would act as my source because source is usually smaller in size than the target so a total of 5191 records were in this and a total of 9994 records were in this as you can see over here the number of the records is shown so what i have done is uh, i have used these two things in the append tool and run this after running it i applied a browse tool the browse tool is nothing but it helps us to you know see that what is going on inside the tool if you just uh, click over this append fields tool then you will see that this is the targets field it is same the changes that we did here that was renaming the serial name number row id to serial number is not being reflected over here and in the source we have the row id again with all the records present over here but as soon as we added the browse tool and click on run then it is going to show me the updated records like how many records were taken from where so a 5191 records from the consumer that means the source and 9994 records from the orders sheet that is the actual data set now it's going to take a few seconds and here you can see the percentage uh, of the process that has been completed uh, and along with this you can see the memory that it is being occupied right now it's 4.9 gb so let's just give it a few seconds and uh, see what happens when it's fully run so let us meet after it's completed fully after it's fully executed now uh, the whole process has run and you can see uh, due to the browse tool we are able to see that uh, the first row that was row id initially has been changed to serial number and now we are getting uh, the combination of the records that is um, target the number of rows of the target multiplied by the number of rows of the source so uh, this is the total number of records that we are getting and this is the size that is 7.9 gb so this is how the append fields tool or the cartesian join works in altrix that's all for this video thanks for watching